Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Baron Lowen. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. And then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed.
need, here I come. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <laughs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough. But between those two... They each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Check, 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 check. One, two, check. What good is this game recording if it's not gonna have my commentary, right? <laughs> oh, look at all the cats.
Cat Petting Simulator. I don't know why there's no dogs. What do we have here? A demigod. Outside the castle. You too are meat. Hi, I'm meat. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. Yes, she did, did she? Did she send you with news? No. Actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Oh, why not? Very I... well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. I'm a wizard, Harry. I don't need supplies. A uh, drink for the road. Nice. Those better be magical rats. Whoa, what? Why can't I do that? Or is that what it looks like when I leave? That's probably what it looks like when I teleport. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. Bro, we could have just walked here together. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself in this tomb today. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Urtgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. 
Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Agreed, Log Guck. Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. Okay. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Touch board. Confrego. And we're going to switch love you, sir. Oh, look at that. Noob streamer calls it Leviosa. Leviosa. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Hmm. this mm. let's do that I will remain here eagerly awaiting your return please be careful so what are these Stop that at once. down the audio a little bit. There we go. Revelio. It's sealed. Curious. Lumos. Revelio. Merlin's beard.
This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Lumos. Accio. Lumos. Revelio. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Revelio. Confringo. Accio. Revelio. Lumos. Compulsor. 
Lumos. Revelio. Revelio Akio need to get that platform closer. Revelio. All that for a Accio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious.
down I go. No other way. Akio! Akio! Levioso! Confringo! Revelio! Levioso! Rebellion. Sealed shut from the other side. Oh. Oh. Revelio. Confringo! Potato! Accio! Levioso! Confringo! Levioso! Expelliarmus! Levioso! Potato! Thank 
Incendio. Depulsor. That was pretty bad. Lumos. 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 This looks even more complex. Depulsor. Revelio. Lumos. Making this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. Oh, what the fuck? Lumos. Rebellion. But which 
Witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must better show this to Lodgok. Revelio. Lumos. Glacius. Revelio. Accio. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Confringo. There's a mechanism to open this door. Oh, okay, just press that. Thought it would be a little bit more than that, but okay. So bright. Lord Gok. The sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. That's okay. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Mm -hmm. Yep. But this is the camp that I already cleared out, and there's going to be the other thing that happens. They are the Ashwinders. You will not survive this fight.
going to regret that. Expulsion! Now, this has become personal. Expulsion! Expulsion! I mean, I don't want any other rock. Expulsion! Expulsion! Damn, Horseshoe has teleport. Oh, troll ball guys. Revelio. So that's how you get that stuff. I think I can make an invisibility potion now. Revelio. That's it. Oh shit. This is for Rookwood. Oh, oh watch the light go out of your eyes. Cabalso, Glacius. Levioso. How did that oh, feel? Man. I forgot about that shit. Accio! Expelliarmus! Confringo! Wrong one! Fucker. Yeah, what a bitch. Confringo. I did it. And an Ashwinder, no less. Revelio.
wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, oh. friend. I am glad that I trusted you. Hmm. Interesting. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. A little bit of a Freudian slip there, bud. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts, by the way. Hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there. Accio. Defaulter. Oops. That's not how it works. Here. Here. I don't know if you're trying to with the fuck? I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Who are you? Man. I unlocked a whole new challenge in the middle of the one I was trying to do. Oh well. Look at that. Why are we running? Conjuring station. What the? What happened to the? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Uh... Oh. <laughs> 
I do not know this town yet. Glad you came. What's up, Sharona? Hello, Sharona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aiden, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aiden the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aiden passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wigan World potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wigan World potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Does everybody brew potions in this game? Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me. And to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. Oh. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. So. Please do give Dot my love. So, oh. Well. I suppose. So what would a wizard deliver you? It was a mistake parting ways with me. So what would a wizard Uber be? Broober? Broom Uber? Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. We're gonna decide with him. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool, he's passionate about things too, as I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. Bro. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Bro, I grew two hmm. in like the last hour. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? Mm. You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacular. Create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's kneesel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up what a kneesel is, but okay. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's venomous tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, 
and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going, minus any competition. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, the doctor's not interested. I'm not sure this is something a student should be doing on your behalf. Oh, it's nothing. And he deserves it. Trust me. He'll be in and out of there in no time. Very well. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. I shall be right here. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Yeah. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Can I Mr. Turn? Barnes will only get in trouble going down this path. I need to find another way to get him a venomous tentacular. I have one. Oh, I used it. Well, rip plans. I want to know why I can't use my broom here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I need to buy a potion from him, or a recipe. Save me a lot of time and trouble. What can I do for you today? Ouch. A wise decision. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, you're welcome, I guess. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> I was never one for adventure myself. What is that? I hope to see you again. What can I do for you today? I really hope I don't discover I a dismantlation later in the Farewell game. For now.
Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Mrs. Sprottle?
Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, my sincerest gratitude, you brave soul. Madam Beaumont, might I speak with you? Oh, I'd be happy to speak with you. Especially after your help ridding us of Ran Rock's loyalists. Mrs. Sprottle told me a little more about your brother Bardolph. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolph herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolph's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. Could Bardolph have run off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm, only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. What do you have for sale? Bardo, where are you? I'll not give up hope. Thank you for passing through. You've made up a Hogsfield safer, and for that, I thank you. What's your name in here? Dot Dorothy. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. Uh, the cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. Oh, of course. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. 
Sorona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed, and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I, and the vendors I help, would greatly appreciate it. Who lived here, I wonder? Revelio. Whoever lived here, I just destroyed the rest of their shit. Okay, how the fuck did this guy go searching for Hark Lotes or whatever the fuck and drop the plants over here? Mm. I guess in a roundabout way it is on the way to... What the? Well, we have to check that out. Revelio. Oh my god, it's the same place I was just at. Jesus Christ. These rocks have seen better days. No, why can't I? This must be the cavern Mrs. Brottle mentioned. Oh yeah, that dude definitely went this way. But I still need to visit the cave to find Sorona's box of letters. Better have a look around, see about the hawk clumps and the box of letters. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Revelio. Accio. Repulsor. Oh! 
Pulso opens those doors. Lumos. Oh, wait. Confringo. That would have worked, too. Rebellion. Shit, I gotta go bathroom, be right back. Pretty cool. 
Revelio. What function would that have? Revelio. Oh. Either I'll have to fight that troll. Well, this is or great. Avoid it altogether. Levioso, Depulso, Accio. Kundringo. Bitch. That's not the right button. What? Oh, fuck, I moved my block button. God damn it. Confringo. It's a little bit unfair game. Thank you. 
Incendio. Protego. Not what I wanted to do, but okay. Glacis. Confringo. Hey, that'll work. Rest easy, my large friend. <laughs> Rest easy in death. Oh, apples. Damn it, why'd I do that? Oh. Rebellion. Lumos. I feel like this is the way I'm supposed to go. Clearly not. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Hmm. Oh, hello, red squirrels. Am I taking all your shit? Just a runner. When I arrived here, I had a troubling sense that in many ways I was wasn't many ways I wasn't like the others first years. I confess I worried that Hogwarts might not have been the prop place for me, and pondered sending an owl to my parents asking them to fetch me almost before the first week of class had ended. How did you know? I presume you're not secretly a legamus legaminus legilimus? I shall not pronounce that word again. But I wonder what I wonder that if you seem to know my thoughts better than I did myself. That day in the three broomsticks, when you spotted me han huddled in the corner, staring blankly at an untouched pot of beer and an empty bit of parchment, my quill dripping ink woefully onto the floor, you and you came to sit with me, well, I shall never forget it. I recall a sudden sense of relief, as if someone had cast a levitation charm on me. When you told me about how nervous you'd been to come to Hogwarts, I looked at you and it seemed beyond my imagination to think of you as anything but the confident, contentant, contentant, which sitting before me. In the days that followed, I marveled at how you charmed in the non-magical sense, I mean everyone around you without apology, embracing who you were and who they were. It was though a candle had flickered on for me, I realized that I could choose the path as well. Now that my school years are ending, the frightened first year which I had been seems worlds away now it's because i saw because you saw yourself in that despairing creature in the corner of the pub and so generously extended yourself to her sincerely yours mirabelle p.s please tell miss spottle that i still plan on visiting her and miss sister of spottle whenever i can for their delightful conversation and i am unshamed to admit here incomparable cauldron cakes oh shit i want a cauldron cake Serona, I conjured this wee gift for you as a token of my gratitude. If you hadn't stood your ground on my behalf during the Quidditch practice last week, I might have left the team altogether. And now we've won the Quidditch Cup. Ravenclaw House would not be the same without you. Sincerely, Sean. My dear Serona, I've set a note separately to dear... Why am I reading these all with the same voice? Whatever. I've sent this note separately to... Dear Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle for their hospitality, but felt the need to put quill to parchment with my thanks to you as well. That's a great saying, put quill to parchment. What a lovely respite from the castle. I won't soon forget how giggled I about the ridiculous gnome. 
Did he truly believe that he was singing? Miss and Mrs. Spottle. St Mrs. Spottle's steak and kidney pie was simply glorious. I shall be dreamingly... God damn it, why is everybody talking about food? I so appreciate you including me. I fear I must warn you, however, that this does not mean I will go easy on you next week's match. You know that Ravenclaw is no match for all of the Slytherins this year. Most gracefully, yours, Philo... Philomenia? Man, could we make a name or two that's just this like must be Bob? Some the box of letters. Dear Serona, happy birthday, my darling friend. I sneaked into the... I sneaked? Yeah, I suppose that's correct, isn't it? Because snuck isn't a word. I sneaked into the kitchens and asked Frank, Frank Finky to make your favorite cream, cream crow dye. She was delighted and to oblige. Not sure where she got the raspberries if at this time of year. Genius at that Finky. Bless. Bess. I should take this box of letters to Savannah. Oh my god. She'll be glad to have it back. Dear Mrs. Sprottle, Mother and Father were delighted to hear that you had. You and I had spent an afternoon at Gladrig's last Saturday. Truth be told, I think my father was ever so slightly envious. I shan't soon forget how heartily we laughed at my efforts to lice the bodice of my new dress. I challenged indeed, as it was rather a delicate practice of s properly situating a hat pin without wandering, wounding either of my hat or my head. But I adore everything that we selected, and I have you to thank for now feeling like a marvelous fashionable witch. It was also a treat to dine at the three broomsticks without having to clear the tables. I shall own a place like that one day. Mark my words. I consider myself more than lucky that you and Mr. Spottle agreed to let me stay. I know that my parents feel pre precisely the same way. Yours gratefully, Sarona. See, that's the thing. Muggles are so grateful about everything. I All these fucking purebloods are just goddamn... Sarona will be glad to have this back. Which is goddamn fuck... Oh, wait, this is the exit. Muggles are thankful for everything. Revelio. Hmm. Yeah, I think I can get up right here, so I should be fine. Uh. What's this? Oh, I have some of that. Ooh. That that kind of worked. Can I get through? <laughs> Is this the game's way of repaying me for giving her giving Mrs. Sprottle all of the whore clumps that she needs? Probably. Rebellion. Which means this is probably the end. Just so we don't accidentally use our potion. Go back there. And where did I set my traps? Is it lower or upper Hogsfield? Confringo! Someone's going to regret this. Accio! Depulsa! Your poaching days are over. Revelio. What's this? This has got to be something, right? Oh, 
Oh shit! Fuck, my bad, my bad, bud. I'm sorry. You're beautiful. I didn't mean to attack you. Goddamn. I need to get the book or the thingamajig so I can fucking capture beasts. See what's up your sleeve this time, Marvin. Hello? <laughs> Some more of you or just you? Love you, sir. Akio. Confringo. Something. Ringo. Oh. Revelio. Confringo. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. It's a dog bug. Let me open. Confringo. Akio. Depulsa. Confringo. Tanky boys. Let me open. Confringo. Let me also. Convulsa. Yes. Akio. Potato. Let me also. So I know where they are if I need them again. Okay. Right in between.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. God damn it. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. We could have cheered them on together. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... <sighs> well, got me through some challenging times. But it mildly. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. True that. First, to harvest, harvest some shit. Deke. Ah, Deke is <gasps> so happy yes. to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see? The room knew exactly Precisely what, what you Zeus think as and well. luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Dee when you're ready to go. Yep, I'm ready. Just uh, one second.
ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Dick hated work. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. So... Tap T. Oh. Okay. You got one. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. I will fuck those poachers up. The rest of you have to fend off the poachers yourselves. I'm only taking one. I have rescued one animal. Not sure why I don't rescue all of you, but okay. Huh! <gasps> Elon and his self-driving carts. God damn it. <gasps> the pulsa. No. Tab three.
Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps poachers. we should work quickly. The Jobanols are just here in this large tree. Flew right over If them. it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. Oh, but shit. Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Levioso. Levioso. <laughs> No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. How did he... Hmm. First Professor try. Will never believe this. I rescued a jobanol. Deke hopes your jobanol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Oh, you could just take me with you, bro. Revelio. Rest of you are on your own. Good luck with the poachers. I guess there's no downside yet.
can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon carbs gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon calf, then. Deke will be waiting for your return. I need to get Deke a new outfit. Moon calf, huh? Oh wait, I gotta wait till nightfall. <sighs> Everything's all right now. Easy peasy. Protego. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. What exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready.
Deep's no herbology professor, but some plants here seem to be ready to harvest. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, Beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some.
Hello, Deke. I have some questions for you. What do you need to know? Will all of my beasts produce magical materials? Only a happy beast will produce such materials. Simply use the skills you learned in beast class. Feeding your beast or grooming them with a brush will make them happier. How should I collect magical materials? It's quite easy. Simply approach a happy beast and they'll provide you with any magical materials they can. What uses do magical materials have? They have a variety of uses, all of which help to make a witch or wizard more powerful. Deke thinks it might be easier to show you once you have some materials to work with. Thank you. I'll get back to collecting materials. Wonderful. Good luck.
I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now.
What did you ask me to do with my magical materials? Use the spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Then you'll be able to weave your magical materials into your clothing. Come back to Deke once you've enhanced a piece of clothing. What did you ask me to do with my magical materials? Use the spellcraft to conjure and come back to dig. What did you ask me to do with my... Use the spell. Come back to Deke once you've enhanced a piece of clothing. <laughs> 